Oi oi internet! In this video, we're going to create a Python script so that we can send emails with Python automatically. Uh, if you see my previous video, um, you can see how you could use a cron job so you could run this script at any time of day automatically and just, you know, you would be able to run this script every 10 minutes if you like and you could send emails from a list of emails or whatever you like. Um, so we're going to start off creating emails with this script. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to want two files. I'm going to call one main, I'm going to call one uh, do, 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 do config. You don't actually have to create a config file. If you don't want to, you could just do everything in the main file, but I'm going to do stuff in the config. Let's go ahead first and create the config stuff. So what's going to be in here? Well, quite simply, we're going to have an object, a dictionary, and it's going to be called config. We're going to define in here our email. So your email goes here. We're going to put in a password. Your password will go here. Um, we're going to define a server and the port. So this is going to be STP server. So in my case, I'm going to be using Gmail. Um, your provider may vary, so it's worth checking your actual email settings to find out what your server value is. Uh, but if you're using Gmail, it's going to be the same as me. I'm also going to set the port again for Gmail. Well, actually, for I, IMAP uh, accounts, it's going to be this. So this is what I'm going to be using here. Yours might be the same. Again, check with your provider. Um, so do that like that. Obviously, you put your real values there like that. And we also need to define one more thing for this config file. And that is a getter. So we're going to say define get config. I'm just going to say return config. Cool. We have a nice modular bit of code there. So now we have our config nice and defined. Let's go ahead and create the script um, that we're going to create the emails with. So to do this, we are going to say by main. And let's start off by importing our uh, config. So from config, import get config. Next, we're going to import some email related modules from the Python standard library. So we're going to import SM. I can't ever say words. There we go. We're importing that. Um, we're also going to import some stuff from the email package. So we're going to be importing multi part because we need that. So we need this. Do, do, do. And again. Cool. Now let's go ahead and quickly create a method. We'll call it send email. I'm just going to call it at the bottom of the script. We'll say def send email like that. First thing I would recommend we do is just get our config. So we say get config. Whoops. There we go. We can finally type. Um, and then let's define our email variable from that config so we don't have to constantly call the actual dictionary key. So we'll say email, like that. Uh, to address, so in this case, I'm just going to set a standard to address, uh, which will be, um, we'll just say use my email, like that. So it's going to send some emails to me. Uh, now, of course, if you were wanting to do this for, let's say, an email list you've got, you might pass in the list here and then you would iterate over this bit of code or maybe you would iterate over this function passing in one email each time. So you could do that. But in this case, we're just hard coding stuff. So we need to create a message variable and we're going to be using the my multipart thing for this. So multipart. I can't type. Oh my days, this is horrendous. Multipart. There we, oh my god. This is ridiculous. You can't type. Stop, stop watching the video momentarily, and I'll, maybe I'll type better. Okay, that worked, thank you. Okay, here we go. Um, then we can define some stuff uh, in here. So this is gonna be similar to a, a sort of dictionary. So we can say message, whoops, message two, and we just set that equal to two. 
Uh, we can also set who's it from. So in this case, it's going to be from our email that we've logged in with, which we haven't, we haven't logged in yet. We're going to do that in a minute. And we can also set a, uh, a message subject here. So we can say subject and uh, say email subject goes here like that. Um, we can also start here by giving it uh, a text variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to just pass it a string as the email. So we can say, um, we'll say something like um, part of the email is going to be mine text. And we'll just pass in a string here. We'll just say, hello, you cheeky little devil. Hello, you cheeky little devil. And then we'll also pass in the type, so that's plain. We could also pass in HTML, which we are going to do uh, later on. Then we need to attach that to the message, so we can say uh, attach, we'll just pass the part, like that. And then we want to log in. Actually, before we log in, we need to basically create like a server variable. The server variable, um, the way we do that is we essentially are connecting to the, the email server here. So we'll do this, SMTP, and then we can use our um, server port and server values from our email. So we can say config SMTP server, like that, and also pass in the port. So now we can actually just connect to our server. That's what we're doing here. There you go. Oh, he's forgotten the second bracket. Next, we can say we want to basically encrypt everything from this point onwards. If you're using uh, an SSL connection to your email, so I think if it's like port 400 and something, it's SSL. So you shouldn't use this method here because it will just break things. Uh, but otherwise, go ahead and use this. Next, let's log in. So I can say server.login and we'll pass in our email and we will pass in our password. So we'll take the config and we'll just say password. Cool, so now we're logged in. Now, in order to send it, all we need to do is we just need to say server, send mail, pass the email that we want to um, send it from, pass the email that we want to send it to, and pass the string of the message. There you go. Finally, we want to call server.quit just to make sure we close it properly. So right now, we should actually be able to send an email. So if I were to quickly save it, and let's say we ran this bit of code, that doesn't look right. Yeah, it wasn't right. Python main, we should see that we get an email through. Oh no, we've got an error. What's the error? Have I spelled things wrong? I almost certainly have. Mm, do, 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 do. I have definitely spelt that wrong, but I can't see where. I see where I've spelt it wrong. Let's go to line three. It is spelt wrong there. It needs to be mine, as in Mr. Mine, if you've ever played Pokemon. Okay, let's run it now. There we go. It's ran correctly, and in a second we should see an email. There we go. We've got an email popped up. And here is the email. So we can see that we've got an email subject and we've got some text in the email. But, oh my God, what a boring email because what do we actually want to do? Well, no email today really just sends it in plain text. We want to have some nice dynamic content that is in HTML. Now, in order to actually put HTML in here, I would recommend watching my tutorial on creating uh, HTML with Python. For this, I'm literally just going to create the most basic thing. We're going to create a h1 tag and throw it into the email. Um, so you can just see for the purpose of this tutorial. But if you want to create more dynamic content, maybe you want to create a table. Maybe you want to create add images and styling and all wonderful gadgets. Well, watch that tutorial. But for this video, we're just going to cover actually adding the HTML to the email. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, in order to do that, I'm going to quickly create a little method. Actually, first we're going to import dominate. This is not from the standard library, so you will need to uh, run pip install dominate to actually get this. 
Oh my days, you can't type. Okay, import, we'll import all the tags. And we'll create HTML like this. Doc dominate. So I am rushing through this little bit here. I'm not gonna really gonna explain too much about creating an HTML because like I say, there is another tutorial I've created on this and it's probably better to watch that because it's more in depth. We actually cover everything like that. So we'll say hello world. We'll say with doc. And we'll just say Oh my god, you sent a HTML email with Python, you absolute legend. Ah, I can't spell. There we go. Okay, that's sufficient. And um, we'll also just return the document like so. Coming back down now to our send email message what we're going to do is we're not going to get rid of our text that we've set we're not going to get rid of this hello you cheeky little devil thing what we're going to do instead is we're going to um, create our HTML so we're going to say um, doo -doo -doo -doo, what do we need to say my mind has gone blank yes that's what we need to say so we can say uh, let's say uh, actually I'll call it part two because it's probably better we'll say uh, mime text and then we're going to pass in a HTML so we can just say create HTML like that and instead of saying plain we're going to say this is HTML like that what do we need to do next well we need to do attach and we just need to attach part two to the the message like that and that will work fine so what's actually going to happen here is we're not going to have this bit of text showing up unless for some reason the recipient of the email is not going to be reading the HTML, which will happen in some cases. Some servers will be designed for security purposes to convert HTML to plain text. So in which case they would see this, they wouldn't see the HTML, just something to be aware of. So there, so you might wanna have text that matches it. You might be wondering why, why would we put text in there anyway? It's sort of a backup essentially. So uh, let's go ahead and run this again. Oh my God, it's gone wrong. It's gone horrendously wrong. What has just happened there? I am an absolute avocado. What we've done, and I've just realized what, because there's some stuff about encoding in here, totally forgot we have to encode things correctly. But no, I haven't done that. Okay, so instead of doing this bit here, because I'm a clown, uh, let's instead have a new line because otherwise that line's going to get way too big. We're going to say uh, HTML is equal to a string of create HTML, but we also need to say encode with UTCF. Why did I put a C in there? I didn't, there's no C. Why did I say C? I have no idea. And then we just strip it. Okay, cool. Now, instead of having this cheeky little devil here, we are just gonna put past that HTML. And I promise you this time, it will work. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, bang. Yes, it's worked. Look at that, it's gone there. Let's have a look at the email. And here it is. Oh my God, you sent an HTML email with Python, you absolute legend. So, that concludes this video. So now you know how to send emails with Python, how to make sure that if the person is receiving it, doesn't render HTML for whatever reason for their emails, you can have a backup in plain text. You know how to do that now. You know how to send it. And if you watched a previous video on cron tabs, you will know how to send this on an automated script level basis where it runs every five minutes or what have you. So. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below because I will try and answer all of them. Um, leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this hilariously ad hoc content. Thank you very much.